giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. This is going to be a very swift lesson. Update on what's going on on the border of Ukraine. What's going on with the tensions between U.S. and Russia. So it says, uh, this is the AP. Sardo came, came out about an hour ago. It says U.S. orders 8,500 troops on heightened alert aimed Russia worry. Right, because Russia, I did a lesson not too long ago, probably like a, a week or two ago, uh, mentioning, I think the title of that lesson, well, no, I forgot what the title of the lesson was, but pretty much, uh, no, it was about three weeks ago, I see it, it's, uh, it was named, I did a lesson named, uh, U.S. and Russia face deep differences ahead of the G Geneva Convention, or the Geneva, um, not Geneva Convention, uh, Geneva Talks, so pretty much in the, in those talks, you know, Russia mentioned that they will do anything to protect their interests. And one of their interests are what? Ukraine. Regardless of what America is saying, we heard what uh, Biden said the other day or today, where he's giving pretty much a last warning towards Russia, saying this will be, if, you, if Russia makes this move, it'll be um, great economic punishments that will take place. And uh, he, Biden said he would be forced to send reinforcements and troops over to Ukraine to defend and help defend the Ukrainians to help defend themselves. So we got this article that came out about an hour ago saying that they're going to send 8,500 troops in a retaliation to what Moscow is doing. So it says the Pentagon ordered 8,500 uh, 8, troops on higher alert. Monday to potentially deploy to Europe as a part of NATO response force amid a growing concern that Russia could soon make a military move on Ukraine. President Joe Biden consulted with key European leaders, underscoring U.S. Solid solidarity with allies there, putting the U.S. U uh, putting the U.S. based troops on heightened alert in for Europe suggested diminishing hope that Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin will back away from what Biden himself has said looks like a threat to invade neighboring Ukraine, right? So I don't really think Putin gives a shit, to be honest with you. He's going to do what he does. This is all part of prophecies going into Matthew, the 24th chapter, said there will be wars and rumors of wars. Hey, here's Trump. Good old Donald Trump. Says Trump says the Ukraine-Russia uh, Ukraine crisis would never... Well, uh, never would have occurred under him, but he withheld military aid from uh, Kyiv. And experts say he emboldened Putin. So pretty much he encouraged Putin to do what he's doing. And um, I'm just going to read that headline because, you know, Trump, he's still fighting against the votes, which got him out of office, which these people hate Biden now. They wish Trump was back in office, but y'all chose this. This fucking devil that you have. And I'm glad y'all did. Um, but pretty much. One thing that Trump got. Impeached for. He got impeached for. Um, actually. Freezing military aid to Ukraine. That was one of the reasons why he got peached, impeached. And also. Um, a whistleblower. And he was going to do a pretty much a research on Biden and his son. And that got him impeached with that as well. So you really can't really say anything about Trump, Trump's words. But me personally, I think that's why he's out of office, because Putin and Trump had a quote unquote decent relationship between each other. When he was in office, Putin seemed like he had more of a respect towards Trump than he does um, Biden. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter 38 and 1, it says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. 
Now, we read this scripture a lot, and of course, Gog, Magog, that goes back to Japheth. When you go to Genesis, I want to say, what, the 10th chapter? But in this case, we're, we're dealing with geography in this uh, specific prophecy. So knowing that Gog and Magog is uh, Japheth according to the scripts, we know where Japheth uh, migrated to, which was up in that area, which we know today as to be Russia. But obviously it's been taken over by who? The Edomites. Okay? It's been taken over by the Edomites. All right? So therefore, this is speaking about a, geog uh, a geographical site according to this prophecy, which would today be modern-day Russia. So verse 2 on down is speaking about Russia, okay? Modern-day Russia, these Edomites. It's one of these dukes of Edom that is mentioned in Genesis 36. So you got the dukes of Edom of America and the dukes of Edom of uh, Russia headbutting right now, going at it. Verse 4 says, And I will turn thee back, and put hooks into thy jaws, right? So pretty much what I was saying earlier, and we can all attest to this, well, there wasn't really too much of friction, quote-unquote, between America and Russia when Trump was in office. But as soon as Trump leaves office, guess what? Hell attention between, almost Cold War tension between U.S. and Russia. Russia is going back into a Soviet Union type state. So those hooks have been drawn back. It says, and we'll bring thee forth, and all thine army horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckler and shields, all of them handling swords. And it, it goes on, I'm going to stop right there, but it goes on to mention allies, okay? Which today, you know, a lot of those um, countries mentioned here are part, are part of that alliance of the BRICS nation, okay? You know, so this is happening. OK, uh, Gog and Magog is speaking of in Revelation, the 20th chapter as well. I'm just going to apply it, apply it to what we're talking about here is Revelation chapter 12 and 7 says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Right. And when he was loosed out of the prison, guess what happened? He ran amok, you know, came out from caves and did everything he did all the way from the caves and to the uh Oliver Cromwell, which we all are very privy about, you know, they called him the King Slayer or whatever, you know, all the way to the slave Atlantic uh, uh, sub Sahara, uh, sub Atlantic slave trades, you know, um, you know, going to, you know, through the Civil War, all these things that this devil did, you know, uh, uh, going back in time now to the Ottoman Turks, he took he took over you know the Ottoman he named itself the Ottoman Empire. The Edomites did all these things. You know he took over up there in Magog, the land of Magog, uh, and and called it Russia or Soviet Union. That's that's Esau. Okay, verse eight says he shall go and deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, and that's exactly what he did. Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea, which, you know, ultimately, you know, who they consider the underdogs, the Israelites, you know, that's who they, all this is happening because Esau's trying to fight to get his birthright back that he was supplanted by Jacob, you know, but that's what the scriptures say. He sought it carefully with tears. He cried like a little bitch. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Esau. You cry like a little bitch. You know, that we got the birthright, and rightfully so, because that's how the Heavenly Father, Father wanted it in the first place. You know, you're the only nation in the scripts that's not going to get any mercy. And, you know, you see Gog and Magog mentioned right there. And again, you can apply that to what's happening right now with Russia and America. You know, so like I said, I was going to make this lesson quick. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shem Chakradash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the eleven one forty four first fruit. It's your brother Kashkwa. Until the next time, Shalom. And like always, repent, 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 for Yahweh Shai is on his way back. He'll be here sooner than what we believe. Shalom, Akim.